nose is better by tail is called Ha! He! A true! Hey guys, what's up? My name is Hope. I'm a full-time nurse and a part-time reseller. I save lives. I save clothes. I have a terrible cold. I save all the things. Thumbs up for that. But apparently myself. I, I'm not saving myself <laughs> at the moment because I, yeah, I cannot shake it. I cannot shake it. It's not COVID. Don't worry. Been there, done that, and I'm not going back again. Oh, the sinus pressure is next level. Can you guys take me seriously when I sound like Franny, Franny Dresser, Fran Fine, Franny Fine, Nanny Fine? Uh. <laughs> if it's unbearable, click out now. I I have a little bit of a cold, but the show must go on. So I'm filming. It's my only night to film. So for today's video, I have a thread up box. It's a shoe box. I have seen so many decently good, pretty good shoe boxes lately. So I was prompted to give her a whirl. I haven't had a shoe box from ThreadUp in a long time. A long, long time. So I was on the website, I was ordering box after box, and I got the shoe box, the denim box, a handbag the handbag box and a scarf box. The scarf box I have already sent to my grandma for all her crafting needs <laughs> and for my aunt and everybody to look through because I I pulled out like two scarves that I was interested in selling and the rest, you know, they went to better homes. But anyways, today's video is my Thread Up Rescue shoe box unboxing. It's 15 pairs of shoes. How much is it? Let me open that. You guys, how much does a shoe box cost? I literally can't think. I need to look right now. It's 15 pairs of shoes for $80, which comes out to $5.33 per pair of shoes. So that's about the price of my thrift store. So let's just see if I would pick these up at my thrift store or not. I've already cracked the box open. Tissue paper's still on top. I'm ready to get into it because I cannot wait another minute. Oh God, all right, okay. First are these like Birkenstock looking uh, little sandals. Now, I'm not gonna sell these, but they are a seven, and my kid is like a six, seven. Um, so I'm gonna give these to her because I found a pair of Birkenstock just like this at the Goodwill the last time I was there. I have that haul sitting right here, nice and waiting for me. So I'll just give her the generic instead of the real Birkenstock and I'll sell them because I was not gonna, I was gonna give those to her. So Although, I'm not excited about these, I am, now that I can actually sell the other Birkenstocks that I have. Alright, so that's pair one. It's a... Next are these Fit Flops. I like Fit Flops. Um, these are a size 8. They're like a blush color. And then, you know, there's a little bit of dirt on them. I think this one has... This one has some scuffs. I might be able to just wipe that right off with a leather wipe, but I'm not mad about fit flops. I would probably pay $5 for these, maybe. Maybe. Rather find them at the bins, but I'm okay with those. I don't know where I'm going to put anything. So I will sell those. Oh boy. Okay. Um, next. Oh boy. All right. These are definitely a dud. Ooh. They're in excellent condition, like they've never even been worn, but they have no brand and no size. So unbranded, no size, sandal, they, 
they feel very cheaply made uh yeah so i'm sure it's like a these are like a fast fashion flip-flop great condition but they are not worth five bucks i wouldn't even get these at the bins so that's a no okay uh, 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 uh. sorry i'm just trying to find the match these are cole Haan. i'm not that excited but they're square toe little wooden stacked heel and they're like a croc embossed print i mean they are in pretty good shape they're a size 9b i might give these a whirl they're just not my they are not the style um, that I'm looking for, but they are the Nike Air technology. But, you know, there might be someone out there who's a size 9B looking for these. And they're overall in pretty good con condition. So, I'll probably list those. Alright, what are you? Cheviot Performance Sneaker. Ugh. Um, okay. Okay, these are uh, Fabletics. They're in pretty good condition. They feel like a cheap tennis shoe. But, sorry, I thought I smelt something. <laughs> okay, these are a size 10 and a half. So that's a good size. They're like mint green. This is like clear. I don't know. I'll have to look these up. I, I doubt they retailed for a ton, but I mean, they look brand new almost besides the bottoms having well, that's just the yellow. They still have the stickers on them. So, I will list those. Yeah, Tory Burch. Not the Tory Burch I was hoping for, but I have sold these exact same flip-flops. There's the logo. Before, I think for like $28. So, I will happily sell them again. There's a little wear at the top, but... The other pair I had had wear too. The only problem is, is these do not have a size. So they're larger, they are at least a nine, at least. But I'll just measure them and try to find them. So I, I will sell those. Oh, these are cute. Um, these are a six and a half. I'll give these to my kid. Uh, Univer I said I'll give these to my kid before I even knew the brand. But I'm still giving them to my kid. Universal Thread. They are so cute. Little polka dot and my animal print. Little zipper sneaker. So cute. She'll love these. So I will give those to her. It's always a positive whenever you can give your kid a pair of shoes. Alright, what are these? Clarks? I sell Clarks. Uh, these are slip resistant anti oh no that's just the same thing in a different language <laughs> uh slip resistant clogs they're in really good shape basically like new clarks so i will sell those their size oh, dear god i have no idea i have no clue what size these are oh wait yes i do nine and a half so at least I'm getting se sellable shoes. <laughs> oh, another pair of Universal Thread. If these were new with tags, I would list them just to make my money back, but they're not new. They're an eight and a half. Um, I've got a hair on them. Gross. A little cognac studded around here. Little flat sandal. Um, I will not sell these, and eight and a half is too big for me, but if you buy anything out of my closet and you're watching this video, then just say, hey, include those universal thread flats that I seen in your Thread Up Rescue box, and I will. So, there you go. <laughs> Hopefully my battery doesn't go dead. All right, these are Gentle Souls by Kenneth Cole. I've never sold this brand before. Oh, but these are in really good shape. They're a black little kitten heel rounded toe boot with a fabric panel that's stretchy. 
It's definitely genuine leather. Yeah, I don't know. Never sold this before, but I will. It's not my style, but I will definitely, since I have it, I will try to list it. More tissue paper. Ooh, okay, okay. These are fancy. Oh. These are perfect for right now, in case you want to be a sexy little kitten at Christmas. How fun are these? They're Ellie. And the funny thing is, is I only know this brand. You can't really see it. E-L-L-I-E. -L -L -E, because I just sold a pair of Ellie uh, patent leather tall lace-up co uh, combat boots. Like, they were like BDSM type style boots. Um, and they sold for 50 bucks. I don't, the brand isn't like that great, but like when it, it's something like this. Oh yeah, they're patent, they're feathery. It's about to be Christmas, and then after that it's gonna be Valentine's Day. They're like brand new, never been worn. And they're a size seven. I'll definitely sell those. Now I probably get, I probably could sell them for probably $30. That's without looking, so. <laughs> don't take that as a uh, gospel, but. Okay, these are good, Nike. U.S. size seven and a half. I think these are, like, um, uh, you know, what are those called? Oh, like Air Forces. I'm not a shoe girl, like a sneaker girl at all. I don't know my sneakers, but these look like Air Forces, but like a, a different style of Air Force. Um, they're white with like a cream textured fabric top. I don't know, they're kind of cute. That's my size, so if those fit, I might I might keep those. Plus, they do have a little bit of dinginess. I bet I'm sure I could wash them because they're like fabric. Why are there hairs in this box? But yeah, so that's good. If I don't keep them. I might keep them. Um, Lacoste. Okay. These are real leather, wedge, nude... sandals um they're not in the best shape I mean they're in okay shape but you see that I don't know that might it might wipe off with a leather wipe it kind of looks like dirt oh they have the cute little Lacoste alligator right there uh Lacoste is expensive so I'll look them up I don't see a size so let's see it oh wait yes I do Size 8. Oh, and they have a name. The Caroly. So, I don't know. They might be worth something. I'll see how they clean up. I don't like to clean up shoes. These are Steve Madden. I used to love Steve Madden way more than I do these days. I feel like it's so saturated. Not that it has never been before, but... Um, good grief. These are the B Ugh. the Beal eight or this Beal I don't have any idea. Looks like B E A L B. That doesn't even say anything. But they're a size eleven. That's a good size. Like a little perforated slide on sneaker the this part just needs a good cleaning but they have leather accent up the back nothing a little magic eraser can't handle okay that's the other shoe okay last pair gosh that went fast <sighs> um these feel nice oh these feel really like the leather on these is so um supple Vera Wang Lavender. That That's like a better tier of Vera Wang. Um, I'm not sure if it's like the best. I don't think it is. Um, but they're only a size 5 USA. These are like leather, rubber sole, made in Tunis... Tun I'm not saying that word. 5M. Um, yeah, these are like 
fun. Little knee-high boots. Slouchy right here. Like distressed, chunky heel. These are really cute. So I can't wait to look these up. Beer Wang Lavender. Okay. I think that I only got like, what, three pairs that I won't, three or four pairs that I won't sell, sale, that I won't sell. So I consider that a win. Yeah, as long as like two of these shoes sell for 40 bucks each, then that pays for the box and the rest is just profit. So this is a way better box than I was anticipating. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at you, Thread Up. Am I going to do it again? Not right now, but eventually, someday, I probably will. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!